In the hazy view behind my window screen wipers and all the mist and rain, I saw... Oh. Boo! Did I scare ya? Happy spooky season, everybody. Before anyone asks, yes, I'm fine. In fact, this story happened about four years ago, so I am definitely a-okay. Some of you may know I've shared spooky stories in the past on this channel. However, this story, I think deserves its own standalone video. This wasn't a time I got a quick scare and it turned out to be nothing. This was an event which genuinely terrified me in a way I have never experienced before. On a winter night in 2018, my friends and I were taking advantage of our limited free time as we knew school exams were quickly approaching. We spent all afternoon playing video games, just chilling and having a good time. 8.30pm rolled around and I decided I'd better get home. I said bye to my friends and hopped into my car, looking forward to a warm shower and a nice rest before school the next day. The weather wasn't too bad when I left, but only moments into my drive... It suddenly pours down rain, like out of nowhere. Really? It wasn't so bad I couldn't see the road in front of me, so I didn't feel the need to pull over. Instead, I simply drove slowly through the neighborhood just to make sure I made it home safe. My window wipers were max speed. I turn onto this particular street, and this is where things get so creepy. In the hazy view behind my window screen wipers and all the mist and rain, I saw a lady. A lady standing on the side of the road, pointing with her left hand as if she was telling me to get out of the way. She had long black straight hair which hung over her face and her head was tilted downwards onto her left shoulder. She was incredibly pale in her face, arms and legs and to top it off she was wearing what looked like an old fashioned nightgown barefoot getting drenched in the pouring rain. I have never been so startled in my life as I swerved around this woman. Because of the rain, I couldn't see long distances in front or behind me, so by the time she popped up in my view, it was the biggest fright. To top it off, the most chilling thing which I swear on my life is true, is that all of this happened right next to a cemetery. <gasps> <laughs> Needless to say, my heart was pounding and paranoia was at an all-time high as I made the rest of my way home. I hope you guys are enjoying the video so far. I'm just popping in quickly to let you all know that the new Skelly Jess merch as well as the wonderful Wobbly Kaiju poster are only available for one more week from the time of posting this video. I absolutely love how these came out and if you'd like to get your hands on one before they're all gone forever, then click the link in the description. The next day at school, I told my friends every detail I could remember from the situation and we all tried to come up with a reasonable explanation for what had occurred. Some were convinced I saw something paranormal given my description of the figure, while someone else said I could have seen a homeless woman in the area. Nobody knows and to this day, I am still not sure what I encountered that night. Only now, years later, I thought it was time to maybe do some research to see if I can find any spooky connections to my experience, either in the area or elsewhere in the world. I'm not a superstitious person, so I don't take these search results too seriously, and I hope you won't either but they are quite eerie to read about. I came across what is known as the White Lady. The White Lady is a type of female ghost. She has long straight hair, typically dressed in a white dress or similar garment, reportedly seen in rural areas and associated with local legends of tragedy. The White Lady legends are found in many countries around the world, says Wikipedia. Apparently, there have been so many sightings of this ghostly figure. I've read about some happening on the side of highways or on back roads. Very similar to the way I came across it. 7 News Australia even covered a story about a mother and daughter who saw this white lady standing at the gates of a cemetery they were visiting on the central coast. They claimed to have then seen this woman sitting in the back seat of their car. The mother and daughter are both completely convinced it's a real woman, or rather her spirit, which is connected to a tragedy from the area and is now roaming the streets. Just out of curiosity, I did some research to see if there was any tragic events that occurred in the area where I had my chilling encounter, but luckily I found nothing. 
Please let me reiterate, take all of this with a grain of salt. Part of me holds on to the belief that there's a logical explanation as to why there was a lady standing in the rain, dressed the way she was, right next to a cemetery, but I can't formulate a narrative myself which makes sense. Any suggestions? If you guys have made it to the end of the video, let me know in the comments below if you've had any similar scary experiences that you can't explain. Or if you have any questions about my experience, I'm happy to discuss anything and everything over on my second channel, Jelly Jess. Thanks so much for watching and please stay safe out there.